And speaking of nut jobs, I don't even know how to introduce this. Um, you know, in this country, we have Congress people, and some of these Congress people, they go to Congress and they sit on committees. They could sit on the Finance Committee, they could sit on the Public Works Committees. There's all sorts of committees they could sit on. Education Committee. I don't know. How many committees do we have in this country? Does anybody know in the, in the House? Just tons and tons of committees. <laughs> and one of these committees is the Science Committee. And on this Science Committee, you have Republicans and Democrats. Well, one of the Republicans is a guy named Paul Brown, 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 B-R-O-U-N. He represents Georgia's 10th district. There's currently 21 permanent committees in the House. 21 permanent committees. And one of them is the Science Committee. And this guy's actually a ranking member. Been there for a while. He's also the chairman of the House Science Subcommittee on Investigations and Oversight. So we're going to make sure that our science has integrity, and I'm going to be the chair of this committee. Oh, yeah. <laughs> now, of course, the chair of the committee overall is Todd Aiken. Is that right? Or is he just sits on that committee? You know, Todd Aiken of illegitimate rape won't get you pregnant or legitimate rape won't get you pregnant, whatever it is. I can't even, it's so crazy I don't even know how to characterize what it, Todd Aiken says. He just sits on that. So oh, Todd point. Aiken just sits on it? So here's Dr. Paul Brown, the chairman of the United States House Science Subcommittee on Investigations and Oversight. Speaking to the Liberty Baptist Church congregants at 2012 Sportsman Banquet. And here's what this nut job who sits on the chair, on the committee and chairs the Investigations and Oversight Committee. Here it is. But God's word is true. And I've come to understand that. All that stuff I was taught about. He's saying God's word is true. And he's come to understand it. Let's rewind it a little bit. Because I want you to understand this. God's word is true. And he's come to understand it. But God's word is true. And I've come to understand that. All that stuff I was taught about evolution and embryology and Big Bang Theory, all that is lies straight from the pit of hell. And it's lies to try to keep me and all the folks who are taught that from understanding that they need a Savior. So what he said here is all that stuff I was, I was taught, I, he's a doctor incidentally, uh, he was taught about evolution and uh, all that other stuff come from our lives from the pit of hell, just taught to prevent people from being saved. In other words, science to him is fundamentally anti-religion, not just in its existence, but in its intent. Science only science is the devil's work, according to this doctor. Do we have it more? Do we have a little more? He goes on. You see, there are a lot of scientific data that I found out as a scientist that actually show that this is really a young Earth. I don't believe that the Earth is but about 9,000 years old. I believe it was created in six days as we know them. That's what the Bible says. So you were saying here, I don't like this whole stuff. I mean, first of all, the Earth is only 9,000 years old. And I found that out as a scientist, even though science is, you know, from the pits of hell. <laughs> and I don't believe this six days as metaphor, you know, one day is a um, hundred thousand years. Or, uh, six days as we know them. Now, if you excuse me, I have to go put some leeches on somebody's body because I'm a doctor. And then go... 
do some oversight to see if the science is uh, legit. Unbelievable. Unbelievable. 